In this video, I'll show you how you can compare the response HTML version of a page versus the DOM or the rendered HTML version of a page using SEO Minion. So let's get started. Okay, so have you ever came across a page and you saw content and you looked in the HTML and that content isn't there? That's because the content you see is from the DOM, the document object model, the rendered HTML. So what you see is the rendered HTML, the DOM, which sometimes changes from the response HTML due to JavaScript. So JavaScript can actually get involved during the render process and change important SEO tags. Now that is a big issue, right? So if you see a title tag in the HTML, but that title tag is not what you see on the page or on Google, then that's because of the DOM. So how do you check this? SEO Minion launched the HTML versus DOM feature to help us out, okay? So to get access to that feature, you need to go to seominion.com and install this browser add-on. You can install it for either Chrome or for Firefox. So once you have this installed, make sure you have this active. So click on your SEO Minion extension and make sure this is toggled on. Now, I want to bring up this example. So this page is a help doc from SAP. Okay, so if you want to check the title tag, the page title, uh, just hover over this tab and the title tag is SAP Data Intelligence Operators SAP Help Portal. But if you look at the HTML source code, the title tag is SAP Help Portal. Now, SAP Help Portal is completely different than what we saw on the tab here that says SAP Data Intelligence Operators SAP Help Portal. Now, if you look in Google, you can see the title tag is also not the same as the HTML source code. So what's on Google is SAP Data Intelligence Operators. So what you are seeing here and in this tab is the DOM or the rendered HTML. Now this can be a big problem for SEO, right? Because when you are auditing this page, you look at the source code and you think that this is a title tag, but in actuality, it's really not because the DOM is completely different. JavaScript changed the title tag of this page. Now this can have a big impact in your SEO strategy, right? And maybe the performance that you might be expecting, but you are not actually realizing because some of the changes that you may have implemented is actually not being what's represented in the rendered HTML. So if you are on a page and you wanna to check to see if the response HTML is the same or different than the rendered HTML, you need SEO Minion. Okay, so to get access to that feature, you need to click on the SEO Minion extension right here and click on HTML versus DOM. So when you click on this, it'll open up this report. In this top section, you can see the SEO tags pulled from the response HTML and those same SEO tags in the DOM or the rendered HTML. So clearly it is completely different. So what's being shown in the HTML is completely different than what's in the DOM. Now the DOM is what we see, okay? And ideally, you wanna make sure that the DOM and the HTML, the SEO tags are the same. Now, as we could see here, the title tag is definitely not the same in this instance, right? So for the HTML, the title tag is SAP Help Portal. And for the DOM, the title tag is SAP Data Intelligence Operators Pipe SAP Help Portal. And there are no additional SEO tags in the HTML, but you all, but you do see them in the DOM right here. Now, if we scroll down, we can actually see the code. So you can see here, this first column, this is the HTML column. Now this is the source code sent from the server to the browser before the DOM is constructed. Okay, so this is what you'll see with the traditional view source in the browser after minor formatting tweaks. Okay, so this is the HTML source code. As you could see, it's quite, short, right? And then this second column is the DOM. So this is the rendered page after the source has been processed into a DOM, including any modifications made by JavaScript. So as you could see here, it is much longer. And then this third and final column is the difference column. So this is the difference between the rendered source and the raw source. So differences typically occur when JavaScript has modified the DOM after the initial load. Okay, so this green text that's highlighted is what was added, and the red text that's highlighted is what was removed. 
So you can see this was added. You can see this was added as well. And also some JavaScript here. Now take a look at this in red. So the title tag, SAP Help Portal, was actually removed and this new title tag was put in place. SAP Data Intelligence Operators, SAP Help Portal. So this is where you can see the difference. And then you can continue to scroll down to see any additional differences in the code. Now, if you wanna analyze this code in maybe a text editor for code, you can click on these copy buttons and paste it in your text editor where you can do additional analysis. Now, if looking at three columns is too much, you can scroll up to the top and toggle the HTML column on or off. You can also toggle the DOM column and then also toggle the differences column as well to help you analyze the code more easy. Okay, so this is how you can compare the response HTML versus the DOM of any page. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.